Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So it is Friday, which is day five of the reading rush and I've pretty much been reading all day long. We released some new stuff in the shop at 10 and so I got up, made sure all of that was like running smoothly and then I read for a little bit and took a nap and then I've been reading ever since I woke up again. So I finished eating Concord late last night and I feel like the ending kind of spoiled the whole duology for me because I really was not into how it ended. Um, and it threw a twist in that I, I, don't know, I didn't really see it coming, but I saw it coming at the same time, but I also didn't like it. So it was one of those things I was like, oh, I hope this doesn't happen, and then it happened. So yeah, this is sitting at like a solid three stars for me. Like it was okay, but it wasn't a new favorite. I still really liked the first one. And um, honestly, I kind of want to reread it because it's been so long since I read the first one. So I don't really remember a ton of it. But to be honest, I have too many books to read. So I probably won't anytime soon. I am 65% of the way through my Phoenix Pack book. So we're gonna finish that later today. And I did the photo challenge for today and I think it turned out pretty good. So it was basically like food and books. Um, I still have not figured out what I want to read for the author's first book or purple on the cover. I have a couple of options that I shared in my TBR video, but there's a, a third option that I might do. And then there's um, a couple of options I have for the author's first book, but I'm gonna worry about it when I finish this. So I will check in with you guys later and we will hopefully figure out what I'm gonna read for the rest of the weekend. So I have finished the eighth book of the Phoenix Pack series. I really enjoyed it and I really loved the characters that she focused on in this one. Um, and I feel like it was a good end to the series, but I'm really glad that she has a companion series so that I feel like I'm not leaving these characters behind because I fully plan to pick up the next book in the companion series. It's the Mercury Pack and she just released the fifth book and normally I would be reading that one like right now but because it's the reading rush I'm gonna keep reading according to the prompts. So this one was my fifth book. My sixth book I already started. It's Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I can't remember if I um, mention this in my TBR video or not, but I'm on page 34 and I am really enjoying it. I think it's going to be a really fun read and it's giving me major American Royals vibes. So yeah, I went and grabbed a couple books off my shelf and I wanted to show you. So American Royals comes out in September. I got it at BookCon and it is one of my favorite books of the year. I freaking loved it. Um, it does make me wonder though if like this is gonna become a trend. I don't really know, like, I don't know, like first family contemporary, I don't even know. Um, but yeah, I feel like it might become a trend. And yeah, at first I was thinking like, this is new adult and this is young adult, but technically all of the characters in this are also like new adult age. But yeah, both of these so far are a total win. And I will probably try to finish this on Saturday, which is tomorrow. So the last prompt I'm gonna have to read is the purple on the cover. So I grabbed this one. It's The Cities of Dead by Alice Arden. This is the third Casket Girls book and it should be the finale. And I'm hoping I'm gonna read this. Here's the thing though, this is 
this book is over 600 pages like it is really thick so i've been kind of like saving it to see how much like time i have left at the very end of the readathon and i feel like i can probably finish this tomorrow but i'm kind of wondering if i want to rush through this you know and then um I don't know if I want to rush through this either because I don't think I could read this all on Sunday. So yeah, I don't know. But I've had this on my shelf for a while and I've been meaning to get to it, but because it's over 600 pages, I keep like not reading it. So I would really like to start this. But I also have a couple of other options that I had in my TBR video that have purple on the cover. So we'll figure it out. It won't be a big deal. I also got a little bit of writing done today, not a ton because the words just will not come, but yeah, just a little bit and a little bit is better than nothing. So that's good. I would really like to sit down at some point and plan out this new project that I have going because I don't know. I think that's just my process. I like write a sum of a project, then I need to plan it and then I need to finish it. So yeah, that's how it's been for like everything that I've ever written. I just start wherever I have the inspiration to start and then I try to plan it kind of as I go along. Um, but yeah, today I've just been so tired. I think it's because I've had some med changes lately for my migraines and it's just catching up to me because I've just been exhausted all day long. So yeah, I'm probably about to just read for a little bit and then go to bed. Um, but yeah, I asked on my Instagram if you guys wanted to see uh, either like three vlogs for the weekend or just one weekend vlog. And most people said weekend vlog. So that's what we're gonna do. So it is Saturday and I am still really tired, but I'm in my office because I want to get a little bit of packaging done. These are the orders that came in before new releases went live so I can go ahead and get these out the door. And then I was thinking about playing Sims because I just kind of feel like playing Sims. I did read Red, White, and Royal Blue last night until page 170 and I'm still really enjoying it and yeah so i don't know i might read this i might play sims i guess we'll see i'll probably do both So I just finished Red, White, and Royal Blue, and I loved it. I cried, both happy and sad tears. I laughed out loud. I was literally on the edge of my seat during an entire, multiple sections. Like, it's one of those books where like, you feel like you've been on a roller coaster, and then you close it, and you're surprised to see the rest of the world still going on because yeah I I loved this obviously and part of me honestly just wants to start over again at the first page so I don't know but yeah this will definitely be on my favorite books of the year for sure 100% recommend it oh you guys I loved it so much I can't even tell you. So technically I have one more prompt for the reading rush and that is a purple cover. 
I talked to you guys yesterday about reading The Cities of the Dead um, by Alice Arden. And yeah, so I might start this. I honestly feel like I need to just kind of like sit on my thoughts for this for a little bit. So I don't know if I'm gonna start this tonight or if I'm gonna start it tomorrow. I don't know if I'll finish it, but like honestly, I don't even care, to be honest. Like, I'm just perfectly happy with the fact that I read this this week. And if I don't finish seven books of the readathon because I am just thinking about this one, I'll be okay. So, yeah. Anyway, it's about 11 o'clock. I have a headache. I was just staying up because I had like 20 pages of this left and I, I, I don't think I've ever read 20 pages so slowly in my life because I didn't want it to end. But yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna go to bed now and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Well, in a minute for you. So it is Sunday, which is the last day of the reading rush. I started my seventh book, so I got about 50 pages in. I don't know how much more reading I'm gonna get done today though because I have a ton of stuff to do. So Cody already finished printing and cutting a lot of the stickers that I need to package for, or from Friday, but I still need to do a lot of the packaging for some other stuff. So we released some enamel pens and I still need to like get all of their packaging done. So yeah, this is the pen we released. And basically I put it on one of these cards and then I put it in like a little plastic bag. So I need to do that for all of those. And then I also have the washi tape that we released. And I basically, for the washi tape, just like put a sticker on the top of it. So. Yeah, I need to do that for all of these. So that's what I'm about to work on. So, I have been working for about eight hours, which means no reading has gotten done, but I have gotten a lot of work done, which is good. And now I'm planning on wrapping up what I'm doing and then playing Sims because I still haven't played Sims yet today. Um, so yeah, no reading is probably gonna happen until I'm like laying in bed about to fall asleep because I usually fall asleep reading something. So I figured I would just go ahead and end the vlog and wrap up the reading rush. So obviously I did not complete all of the challenges. The only one I'm missing is a book with purple on the cover. And I'm fine with that, honestly, because I feel like I had a really good reading week and I feel like I did a lot of the like photo challenges. I haven't done them for the past couple of days, but I think I did all of them up until Friday, I think. Anyway, that was a lot of fun. I've definitely had a lot of fun watching all of the vlogs and seeing other people's photo challenges. I have found so many Instagram accounts to follow and yeah, I've also found some new YouTube channels and stuff to watch. So overall, I am really happy with how this reading rush went. So of the six books I did read, all of them together added up to about 1,997 words, or not words, pages. Um, and then I added in the, that 50 pages of the Cities of Dead book that I have not finished yet. So total, I have read 2,047 pages. I've read six different books. They were Girl Stop Apologizing by Rachel Hollis. I Know What You Did Last Summer by Lois Duncan, um, The Rest of the Story by Sarah Dessen, Eat and Conquered by Joelle Charbonneau, um, Untamed Delights, which is the eighth Phoenix Pack book by Suzanne Wright, and Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. Out of those six, my favorites were probably The Rest of the Story and Red, White, and Royal Blue, as I'm sure you guys could probably guess from, um, the 
previous clips. The only one I really wasn't a huge fan of is I Know What You Did Last Summer. I do feel like the movie is better than the book, but I mean, it is what it is. And um, yeah, Eden Conquered didn't quite live up to my expectations that I had based on the first one, but it was still a good read. So yeah, good reading week, I would say. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog. I know, I feel like it was boring because I feel like I did nothing but read and then work, but whatever. Anyway, hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will be going back to my normal schedule of posting two videos a week that are usually planner or book related. And make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you read during the reading rush and what your favorite read was. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys have a great week and I will talk to you later. Bye.